all what we're doing is we're building up a whole set of interventions, including the £1.7 billion that's already been committed, complemented by the £1.4 billion. These are all measures that are going to have a direct impact on children. They're going to have a direct impact in terms of actually the amount of tutoring children are going to be able to get. This has far too long been the preserve of those who have been the wealthiest and only been able to afford it. We're making sure that that's expanded so all children are able to benefit. But we recognise there's more work to be done. This is part of a process. And this is why we're launching the review in terms of how we can best support children in terms of their schooling. And one of those elements is about time. Is there extra time that is required for children to be able to be, able to be in the classroom? Not just for study, but also for enrichment activity as well. well Oh, it's pretty dispiriting, Stephen, isn't it? Here I am as somebody who's leading a trade union and all of my colleagues. It feels this morning as if we have got higher ambitions of the nation's children and young people than the education secretary. It's pretty pitiful, isn't it? Only yesterday we were hearing stories about extending the school day. And even if some people disagreed with it, at least there was a sense of let's do something radical, let's do something different. Today's announcement essentially equates to £50 per head. You compare that with the USA, which is putting £1,600 per head per young person. The Netherlands, £2,500 per head. So what is it about those children in the Netherlands or the USA that makes them worth more than our education secretary, our government, seems to say? It's time to stop the rhetoric, I think, and start the action on behalf of children and young people.